Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some educational time together. Today our topic is about how the Arab people used to be before Islam. Not only the Arab actually, even all nations been occupied by the Islamic uh, terrorism army of Muhammad and after him Abu Bakr and Umar, etc. You hear the Muslims always saying that there was 365 idols around the Kaaba. But at the same time, we never heard that the Arab region war against each other because of an idol. And as you see, 365 gods mean 365 religion. Yet, those Arab, they live in harmony and peace together. Islam came and suddenly everybody is killed. The 365 religion around the Kaaba followers have one of two choices. Either they convert to Islam or to die. And that goes, you know, can goes for every aspect in uh, society. But let us see, I have some uh, text in Skype from a Muslim. I want to see if this Muslim really is available to join us because he asked me to call him. Let us see. Again, invite your friends and don't forget not to like and not to share and not to subscribe. Don't subscribe. It's not good for your health. Trying to contact him to see if he's available. Maybe he is not online. Let us see the other Muslim. Mr. Kasim. I will try to call him. All right, the second person is not available too. So we try to contact two Muslims, none of them was able uh, to answer. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Please feel free. My Skype is open and I will be happy to have you with us to present your point of view about so-called religion of Islam. You know, uh, the Muslim, they keep saying Islam means peace, but then every single country in the Middle East was conquered by the sword, and Islam never entered by missionaries. Even other countries who they are, they did not conquer by war. Uh, but the reason of war was the reason to convert to Islam. As an example, I heard, I'm not sure, I'm not so good in history about Indonesia, but the Sultan or the, or the ruler of Indonesia, he was afraid that there is an invasion of the neighbors on him. So they advised him to convert to Islam so the Muslim will support him in case he got invaded. So even that was based on fear, not based on convincing convention. Before Islam, we heard about a great civil, you know, civil life of many nations, as an example, all of you heard about queens and like Cleopatra, Nefertari, Nefertiti, uh, queen of uh, queens from Syria like uh, Zenobia. Uh, many, many uh, the, the the daughter of the Shah, the daughter who ruled Persia. So this Middle East never look at the women in such a way, disgusting way. But when Islam came. Islam put a woman inside the box. In fact, he put it inside the garbage bag. And he did not even allow her to breathe. And then he allowed her to have a curtain in her face so she can see through, but she cannot be seen. So from a very effective woman to a very destroyed woman. Somebody is trying to call me from Skype. His name is The Toilet Guy. Well, I'm not interested in such a value. If your name is a twelfth guy, 
well, stay in the trade. All of us, we knew, and we heard the Mohammedan saying that Muhammad himself used to work for his first wife, Khadija. So look, before Islam, Khadija was a businesswoman. A businesswoman. Muhammad himself, he worked for her. What happened after Islam? Do we have any Mohammedan can tell us what happened? How come the desert society, the Middle Eastern society in general, they never have a problem with women? They never have a problem with religion? What happened with Muhammad? Any Muhammadan? In the Quran, the Muslims always they present to us that Islam actually protected women. Uh, this is what the Muslims do. But do you protect women by beating women? Protect them from whom? So the man, he been taught that women is his property as, uh, as a dog, not even as a human. It's not like even as a slave. She is his property, so he can deal with her as he wish. In fact, when Muhammad, Aka Allah, he spoke about he, how to have sex with women. He described the women as a ground, and you dig in your teeth as you wish. As you wish. You know, the Muhammadan, they say that the Quran have a very amazing Arabic language. But anyone who speaks the Arabic language, he will see how offensive and how stupid and how rude and how, uh, 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 I mean, you can describe it as a language of a pirate. Your wives are as teeth into you. So approach your teeth when and how you will. And that will take us to other issue. A woman, she cannot say no to sex. A woman is a teeth. A woman is a donkey. A woman is a dog. You sit, you sit, take off your panty, you take off your panty, uh, go to bed, go to bed. This is her job. She is his teeth. This is the only reason women are exist in Islam. Do we have any Muhammadan in the ground, in the bushes? He have an objection. And then the Muhammadan, they go farther with their lies. They say that women before Islam or females, they used to be slaughtered just because they are females. And for sure, this is a big fat lie, because if this is true, we will not have females left. According to Muhammadan explanation, for the verse in the Quran, which is located in chapter 81, verse number eight, they say this is about a female and about an infant, but the fact this is about a soul soul in the day of judgment is going to be questioned for what reason it was murdered the muslim translation here they add the word infant but the word does not exist in the arabic it's a lie When Allah will gather the souls in the Day of Judgment, He is going to ask the soul who is killed for what punishment the soul was slain, not the infant. And to prove this case is so stupid to be true, how the women is God for the Arab and they killed their God. 
all of us we knew that the Arab even worship the goddess, the three daughters of Allah. So how because they are a female we kill them and the same time we worship them and if we kill the females then the you know those Bedouin society is you know will disappear if everybody or let us say the majority so the verse have nothing to do with protecting females from being buried alive and who is in the world want to bury his child alive who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? Who want to do that? That is the most stupid statement ever. This is about a soul killed unjustly. And the language is very strong, by the way, as stupidity strong. Because you cannot kill the soul and you cannot bury the soul. So when the soul will be asked for which reason you've been buried can you bury the soul Muhammad as usual he was trying to make a rap song as you see all the letters before end with letter T in Kadarat Suyirat which is very easy to add to any word you know when you add T you make it past tense so you can add it to any anything any word so Muhammad claimed that this is coming from God look at this so when the Sun shall be darkened and when the star shall be uh, uh, even translation is very fast by the way throwing down throwing down and when this the mountain shall uh, shall be set moving when the mountain shall, shall, shall be set moving and when the uh, the camel who is going to give uh, birth soon is going to be neglected and when the savage beast will be mustard what mustard and you will notice here if we change the translation or the translator you will find different translation different words have nothing to do with each other look what happened here when the wild beasts shall be gathered together. What was the previous translation? Mustard. Let us see different translation. Anyway, like you will notice that you can do that yourself. And then when the soul shall be joined with their body. And look what they hear, they add. And when the female infant buried alive, who is a Muslim can call me and show me the word female and the word infant in the Quran. And as you see, it says, as the pagan Arab used to do. Remember, the Muhammadan, they lie to us and they say that they don't, will never allow to corrupt their Quran. But isn't it a corruption when you add words is not there? Isn't it a corruption when you add words is not there? Where is the word female and where is the word infant coming from? Any Muslim? My Skype is open. If you are a true believer, call me. In fact, the one who buried the women alive is the Muhammadan. What the Muslim man he does when he marry a Muslim woman or when he have a, 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 a girl, he forced her to walk three pants even if she is five years old. He forced her to wear cover up 
sheet and blankets even if she live in the most hot countries like Indonesia humid hot if I go right now and search for pictures in Indonesia let us do that I'm just closing some browser, too many browser open. All right, let's uh, search Indonesian, Indonesia. Okay. Well, I type Indonesia and this and, and splash website. I get nothing but women in the beach. Let us see something else. For sure, this is not the Islamic way, huh? For sure, Indonesia is not one like it's not the same. There's there's like many country. I mean, many society and many ethnic and many. So there is certain areas where the majority are either Hindus or Buddhists, etc. So look at this as an example. Little kids. Look how they are covered. And by the way, according to Muhammad, and those are mature kids. They will get married at the age of six usually. So in fact, what they do, they bury you alive. And look at them, they look like they are wearing a coffin. In a country where it is so hot, so humid. And you can imagine how the smell will be when you sweat because at the end of the day, we are human. We are not different species. So how Islam treated women? How Islam treat the neighbor who is not a Muslim? We hear a lot of lies. As an example, the Muhammadan, they say, there was a guy who is a Jew. He used to piss on the house of the prophet door. Let me see if I can't find you some videos. Tons of videos. Story of the Jewish neighbor throwing garbage in the front of the prophet house. It's a fake story. It's a lie. It never exists. But you will hear it from every single Muslim. In fact, there is no such a hadith. It's a fabrication. Just to make Muhammad a nice person. The Jewish guy who throw garbage on the Prophet house. <laughs> Where we can find this story? I saw actually a short video 
uh, the Muslim, they have like a guy and there's a guy walking with his daughter in the short videos. And then a guy, he stopped his car and he say, you are a Muslim? Huh? And he throw a Pepsi on him, an empty can. And the guy, he wanted to attack the guy, the Muslim guy, he want to attack the one, the insulter. But his daughter, she said, Father, don't you remember what the Prophet did with the Jewish guy? And this is a, like, there's millions of people watch the video. Liars. In fact, not only that, they said to you, even Muhammad before he died, he borrow, he he like he gave his uh, uh, his sword and his shield to a Jew in return of borrowing some money. This is how poor he is. So if Muhammad, there's no Jews left around Muhammad. How he will borrow from the Jews when he killed all the Jews? Is it this is your prophet who he made a promise? If I was be, became a victorious, I will inhalate, I will destroy, I will do ethnic cleansing, religion cleansing. So no Jew, no Christians will allow to live in the Arabian Peninsula. Am I lying? Is that true? And then they lie and they say the prophet, look how poor he is. The prophet, he have no money, man. I mean, the guy, he have 13 wives. He, hand, he have hundreds of six slaves. And now he is borrowing from a Jewish neighbor in his the end of his life. But he killed all the Jews. And the lucky one is the one who ran away. Do we have any Muhammadan? May they, may they. So look, the Jews, they used to live between the Arab and the Arab never killed them. Christian, they live, they are Arab, live there. Nobody. Nobody waged war because of religion. Christian lived there, Jews lived there, pagan lived there. 365 gods. People do business, people live in peace. Muhammad came, the devil in the house. And everything become upside down. Beat women rape women, kill women. And the funny, the Muslim, they come to you and says, is it true that the Bible says kill uh, women, children, everybody? Is it true? The Muslim ask question, but this is story Muhammad, he copied from the Quran. The enemy of the Jews, they attack them and they kill even the women who have a baby so they will not be sure not even a baby will survive, even if he is inside his mother. Then the Quran says that Allah, he order the prophet of the Jew at that time, which is Samuel, to tell his people to kill everybody. But the Muhammadan, they come to you and says, how such a thing is exist in the Bible? As you see, like from Didat, from Zakir Naik, but they are donkeys, do not know that this is in the Quran. And because they killed them, because the enemy, they almost destroy the nation of the Jews. In fact, in the Islamic books, it says there's only one child left, a woman, she is going to have a baby. Only one woman, she's been saved from being slaughtered by the pagans, by the Palestinians. And they hide her. And that son became the prophet Samuel. This is their books. But then they come and they question the Bible because they do not know their stupid book is nothing but a counterfeit of our books.
Any Muhammadan? Anyone? You will notice that none of them, they really to call us and challenge us that Islam was a change of life for good. In fact, Islam is nothing but a fraud, hateful religion. And then the Mohammedan, they come and they speak about Islamophobia. When this religion is the religion of the phobia. So Islam brought phobia, hatred. As an example, chapter 5, verse number 14, it says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. In the same chapter, it says Allah will spread hatred between the Jews until the day of judgment. This is the business of Allah. Chapter 514, chapter 564. Allah will spread hatred between the Christians and Allah will spread hatred between the Jews. Chapter 9, verse number 29. Kill the Christians and the Jews. And if they want to live, they have to pay you. In fact, the first mafia, you see the word mafia, like if you go in history, you will see as an example that mafia started in uh, uh, Sicily, Italy. But what they will not tell you that the mafia started when the Muslim they lost and they've been kicked out of Europe. And then the mafia took the place of the Muslim because the Muslim they used to come to stores and they say you have to pay for protection. Jizya. Protect from who? From us. So you pay us, we protect you from us. You pay us, and we protect you from who? From us. Somebody asking, saying, show us the reference about Prophet Samuel. The Muslim, they have different name for him. They call him Shemuel. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, if you go to chapter 2, verse number 246, 247, you will find the verses and you can read the interpretation about it. All right. You can open Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, whatever you want. Allah, he ordered them supposedly to go and launch war against the enemy who they, you know, they tortured their children. The Jews, they said to him, oh no. And then they asked him actually, why you don't send us? Uh... <clears throat> Let me show you the verses. Just a reminder. All right. You read the interpretation for it and you will see what I'm talking about. This is why if the dad is debating me, I will, I will, I will fry him because he's a stupid. Obviously, he never read his book. Do we have any Muhammadan who have the courage and the knowledge? I want to advise people in the chat to focus with me in the topic, otherwise I'm going to block you. I see there is a very funny conversation happening between Bruce 6 and the rest. So 
If you are interested to have a private chat, you can add somebody to your stupid list and speak to him out of here. This is the last warning, otherwise I will block you. Either you are here to focus on our topic, or you are here to make friends and speak to people about things that have nothing to do with me. Do we have any Muhammadan there to call me? Who is a Muhammadan? He have knowledge. He dare to call me. Anyone? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Somebody is asking, can you show me that reference about Muhammad being called Qatham? There is tons of reference. Even there is a hadith says, Muhammad said himself, that an angel came to him and he said to him, Are you Qatham? We can search for, there's tons of reference. But focus with me in my topic. Any Muhammadan? If we go to, to the one asking about Qatham, let me show you some reference. This is Tafsir. We can go to Al, -Al Abdi Kathir too. This is Tafsir Al Qurtubi, volume number 20, page number 92. Take the reference. This is the Hadith in the book of Al Qurtubi. It's mentioned from the Prophet that he said, Two angels they came to me in the image of a bird. Page number 93. With them water and, and, and snow or ice. And they, like, uh, they opened my chest. And the other one, he opened his peak. He put it inside his chest and he washed it with it. The hadith next to it says, An angel came to me, so he opened my heart, and he took from it a piece of dirt. And then he said to him, uh, Your heart, etc. And then he said to him, You are Muhammad, and you are created as Qatham. Which means, when, when you are born, this was your name. I will give you the link. Let, me, let us use Google Translation first. Do you see it? Qatham? I'm trying to highlight it, but when I click this thing open, let us close it. I will open my screen tool to write. 
Do you see the word Qasim? All right. And there is other hadith. Let me find the other hadith. There is tons. I mean, we can, it's endless. I'm trying to open this website, but it's not opening, but I see the front website. Okay, let's see this one here. This one is called the Ark. Let me give you the first this link so you can save reference for the one who care for reference. So this is the one it says who you are. And there is other one. Let us see. I found a link actually, but it doesn't show a uh, page number. So I'm trying. Okay. This is a book. It's called Lisanul Arab. This is a, a kind of a dictionary. Uh, let us see the hadith. Here we go. And we will translate using Google translation. But let us see if there is a page number. So this is the book of Lisan al-Arab, which means the tongue of the Arab, by Abu Manzur, variant number 12, page number 27. Here it says, if you go down, Atani Malak, an angel came to me, and he said to him, you are Qatham, and you are created like uh, good. Let us use, and actually it says here, هذه أسماء النبي So this is, this is the names of the Prophet Muhammad. Translate. These are the names of the Prophet The angel came to him and he said, You are Qatham, and your creation is valuable. All right, and now they give you a fake meaning of the word Qatham, what it's mean. Let me give you this link too, so you can save it. And the funny is, every single Abdul, he speak to me about it, he says to me, You are lying. But this is their books, this is their website. <laughs> isn't it correct isn't it this is their books isn't it this is their, their website isn't it those those are their scholars so they they get hurt when you show them what is written in their books they are illiterate you know the muslim they say that muhammad was illiterate not only muhammad was illiterate all of you are illiterate potatoes And this is why they don't dare to call me because they knew I have all their laundry. All the laundry of Muhammad is here. Do we have any Muhammadan?
Who is next? We focus on the word, the word in his name is Qatham, is not Muhammad. I mean, even you, you, just to notice, just to show you that Muhammad cannot be the name of the guy Muhammad. What the Quran says? The Quran says that Isa will say, there is a messenger will come after me. His name is Ahmed. So if his name is Muhammad, how Ahmed became Muhammad became Ahmed? It's a title. Muhammad, he hijacked a title, the praised one. He want to be God. What Ahmed, what Muhammad mean? Praise one. Okay, what Ahmed mean Muslims? If his name is Muhammad, the name cannot be changed, cannot be translated. He did not say a messenger will come after me, his name is Muhammad. The verse saying a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmed. Any brave Muhammad that would like to call us, may they, may they. So, the Arab before Islam, our topic today, like we spoke about many things, but the main topic is, Arab before Islam is a billion times better than Arab after Islam. Muhammad, he destroy the good part of the Arab culture. The Arab before Islam used to do adoption, a noble act. The Arab after Islam, they cannot do adoption. Why? Because Muhammad, he decided to take his own son wife. Just for the sake of his penis. Muhammad cannot have kids. It's not a secret. But he can have sex, maybe. When Muhammad adopt a son as a request of his wife because desperately they can't have kids and his God cannot heal him for he's a fake God. They adopted a son. Very noble act. But I find that Muhammad adopted this son which is already he is growing. So he can marry him from a female so he can go sleep with her. And he can have an excuse in front of his wife, which he don't dare to play behind her back, to go to his house any time. Any Muhammadan? And then we will find the story of Zaid. Allah Himself made a verse for Muhammad, saying to him, Why, why you are telling Zaid? Keep your wife for you when you know that you want her badly. Actually, this verse saying that Muhammad is a scumbag. Not only he is wishing to have sex with married women and she is married to his own son, he created a verse claiming this is God asking him why you are keeping the women, keeping the man, having his wife. Why you tell him keep your wife when you want her? Why you don't tell him what is in your heart? What is in his heart? You go and read the interpretation. Muhammad went to the house of his son, Zaid, when the husband was not there. 
she was wearing see-through clothing and some story says the wind move the curtain which is I find it very funny I mean he's inside the house what curtain and when he saw how white she is the the, the description on the tafsir says وَكَانَتْ بَيْضَاءٌ جَسِيمًا you know Jasima mean big and the Arab uh, you know they used to appreciate big size women if you are skinny if you are thin nobody will marry you you know when I was a kid I used to hear a song about uh, a woman the camel could not carry her and I could not understand how they are speaking about how beautiful she is but what the relationship between her beauty and the camel could not carry her I mean how heavy she is but then later I notice that the more heavy she is the more delicious she is this is their culture so a woman who is so big that means she can bear good boys and girls a woman she is so skinny eh, her parents are not feeding her you know so the camel could not take her up I mean the camel can carry can lift up a car yet the camel could not lift this woman and the song is very well known for anyone who is a Middle Eastern and I thought about it for a while I could not find any answer I mean what the heck is this why I mean she is so beautiful okay they are singing about her, her beauty okay and now the camel could not carry her so if you go and read the interpretation you will see that she was so white and she was so big so now Muhammad he want her badly in his bed so Islam before Muhammad people they adopt children Islam after Muhammad forbidden to adopt And when Muhammad he see the see-through clothing, he flirt with the wife in the house of the husband. And then Zainab, obviously she is a whore, because why she want to sleep with someone? He is adopted. He was a slave. He was adopted, and later he became his her husband. He's nobody. If she can get the you know the one who is going to be the king of the Arab, already he is their king. Which one to? To marry is going to be good for her. Is a slave or the king? Obviously, this woman, she is a whore and she is in bed with Muhammad. And the story does not present the whole story. Like Muhammad, he went there, he saw her wearing sexy clothing, and his heart flipped for her. He said, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. But remember, Muhammad, he did that in the house of the husband. Any Muhammadan? Anybody? And then the wife. Okay, Bruce, look like we have to block you. All right. Uh, the funny is that Zainab, she said, each time her husband, after that day, Muhammad, he flirted with her, a miracle happened. Each time her husband want to have sex with her, Allah, he made his penis swell. And the funny is, the Christians they say the Prophet Muhammad does not have any miracles how so didn't you hear about he made Allah he made the penis of the husband as well why to block a guy he is trying to speak none of your business we block anyone if he is going out of our topic and we block you too
you don't like it leave we are not here we don't care for how many people are listening we want adult mature people not kids coming to talk about their birthday you don't like it leave this is not a chat place this is not a place you want to tell your friends about your birthday or what banana you ate. If you are a stupid kid, leave. Send your parents. And if your parents are a stupid kid, leave with them. You don't like it, don't come here. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Any Mohammedan? Who dare to call me? Nobody? Not a single Abdul. Who is a Abdul? He drank camel urine and Allah gave him the energy and the power and the intelligence. He can call us, prove us wrong. Anybody? Especially if you are a person who kissed the black stone already, you got all the juice. And by the way, Islam is against paganism. But yet Allah, he ordered his prophet Solomon to build a temple with statues. And the Quran says, if you find a contradiction in this book, for sure it's not from Allah. So in one hand, they tell us that we, the Prophet, he destroyed the 365 statues around the Kaaba. In the same time, we find that Allah, he ordered his Prophet to build temple with the statues. And if you look at the translation, you will find the word statues disappear. Chapter 34, verse number 13. In Arabic, it says, Tamathil. Anyone, go to the dictionary right now. Tamathil means statues. In the English, the Muhammadan, they replace it with the word hummus. If we change the translator, let us try different translator, let's see. I mean, shall we? This is who? Uh, this is Hilali and Khan. Let us see uh, Kattab. Hmm. Ah, there is a statue here. What? The Muslim, by the way, they will never change their Quran. They will never swallow words or sentences. Do you see it? Statues. Hey Muslim, do you have a statues in religion? Muslims, do you have a statues? Is a statues approved in your religion? Any Muhammadan? And then you read the tafsir, they will say to you, those are statues of the prophets. Prophets? You make statues for the prophets? I mean, even when they fix it with image, try to make it like better, but isn't it images is haram? <laughs> As you see, they are chicken. They don't dare to call. I'm not going to keep you long. I hope you guys have a good time. 
and I hope next time we will find invite invite the Muslim challenge them to call me especially those who claim that they have knowledge those who call themselves sheikh and ustaz those who they have a career making a living from Islam tell them you are a potato unless you accept that challenge to call a Christian prince if they say to you we accept but we not do it face to face that is an excuse and it's obvious so if you have a man he's a real man he have the courage and the knowledge tell him to come and debate me and you will see that your ustad are a bunch of cowards therefore excuse me when i call your ustad potatoes and we fry them and we make them mush potato prove me wrong and i will see you next time may the lord bless you all christ is lord islam is a fraud and we prove it every time take care